GCSE Maths compound interest in 96 seconds. Let's go. This is a super hot topic for papers two and three, guys. Let's have a look. It says Ben invests £4,800 at the start of 2016, given that he earns 2.5% interest per year. How much does he have at the start of 2019? Guys, it doesn't say that it's simple interest, so we're gonna know that this is compound interest. Two different ways to do this. The first way is going to be to find 2.5% of 4,800, add it on, find 2.5% of that, add it on again, find 2.5% of that and add it on again, but that's a little bit long, so let's use our formula. When it comes to compound interest, we can say that the amount at the end of the period is equal to the initial amount multiplied by one plus the interest rate as a decimal to the power of t, where t is the number of time periods we have. So in this situation, what are we gonna have? Well, our initial amount is 4,800, so we have 4,800 multiplied by one plus. Our interest rate is 2.5%. Writing that as a decimal, we divide it by 100. We're going to get 0.025 now, our number of time periods. He starts at the start of 2016. So he has 2016, 2017, and 2018 earning interest at the start of 2019. How many years have gone by? It's going to be three years. So we can plug this into our calculator. And if we do that, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get 5,169 pounds and eight pence. That is gonna be how much we have after those three years have gone by.